Hello, welcome back to Cinema Burger. I'm Scott Burger, and I bring you movie reviews from a different perspective. Today we look at the number one viewer choice movie, and we end our series with The Birds. Coming out in 1963, directed by Alfred Hitchcock and starring Tippi Hedren, Rod Taylor, and Jessica Tandy, this is about a group of birds attacking a small California town. Now instantly, when the movie opens, we see Tippi Hedren and she notices birds flying in the sky. Now, they're not doing anything odd yet, but she definitely notices them and their wings flapping is played very loudly. Now, she walks into a pet shop and meets Rod Taylor. He is there looking at birds also. Now, they both hit it off and they start talking to each other. And Rod Taylor has to leave all of a sudden, but they're looking at these certain birds that the guy was kind of interested in, and she buys them, and she wants to know where the guy lives. Now, she asks the bird shop owner, because it's a small town, so everybody knows everyone, of course, and she basically sneaks up to his house because she's interested in him, which is a little odd. I mean, back then, things seemed a little more innocent even though they weren't but nowadays people asking questions about where somebody lives randomly is a little weird but she basically wants to surprise him with the birds so now Tippi Hedren uses a boat to get to the island where the Rod Taylor lives because it's the only way to sneak up on him and while on the boat a seagull attacks her and causes her to get hurt now, she thinks, of course, that the bird attacked her directly, but everyone tries to say that it was weird, or that it was an accident. Now, Rod Taylor sees this also. Now, anytime birds are heard in this movie, whether it's squawking or flapping around, it's a very disturbing sound. It's not exactly what they sound like, but it's meant to be very off-putting to show how creepy or scary the birds are, which I think is very clever. Now, in another scene later, Tibby Hedren is talking to a friend, saying that the friend's chickens won't eat the bird seed, and that other people's chickens aren't eating the bird seed as well. They think it may be the bird seed seller's fault, but as more things happen with the birds, people are getting a little more suspicious. Now, Rod Taylor's niece is having a birthday party and the birds attack the party as well and they actually harm some children and it's not killing them but it's pretty disturbing because they're like attacking a girl on the ground and she they're bleeding and then this is where things get weirder they're in a diner later on and this woman a woman who's an ornithologist explains that birds wouldn't attack people, their brains are too small, or that different types of birds wouldn't attack together. Now it's interesting to see that the voice of reason is a woman in this movie, while other men are kind of panicky and exaggerating things. So having the women be the voice of reason and have the men be the voice of exaggeration is a little different than what we would have seen in movies next then. Now there's a scene where children are waiting to go out from school and the birds are waiting there and they attack. And it's another disturbing scene. It shows Tippi Hedren in a phone booth and it features fake birds and real birds at the same time. They're hitting into the in windows and things like that. And it's just really loud, disturbing squawking and flapping and the ornithologist also explains how there's over 860 species of birds and over the world there's billions of birds so it's they outnumber people 100 to 1 or more than that and other people are saying like this religious nut is saying how oh the birds are coming to take over it's the end of days the ornithologist explains how humans are actually the disease of the world and that birds would be reclaiming nature even though she's not acknowledging that this is happening but it brings up very big ideas here. Now once again Alfred Hitchcock is always good at creating fear and suspense with using very little. Now at one point they're near a gas station and 
birds attack a guy filling up his gas and he drops the gas pump. So gasoline is just getting all over the ground and a little further away a guy is smoking a cigarette and he drops the match and it just explodes and it's really funny actually even though it's not meant to be. And then this whole gas station explodes and horses with vegetables crash and it's just mass chaos and panic. And it's just really cool how like creatures like birds, oh they're harmless and whatever, they can be seen as evil and conniving and rising to attack. Now during the gas station explosion, the gasoline that explodes points in an arrow to the the ground and other birds see it and it's like the birds near the gas station created like a marker or a landing strip like here you go here's where we are help attack attack and that's very subtle I feel like most people don't notice that now at the end Tippy Hedren, Rod Taylor and the girl Kathy whose birthday it was they are able to drive away as the birds are staring at them from the house that they're in Tippy Hedren gets attacked again but she survives and you see all the birds on the roof and some are real and some are fake birds and they drive away as the birds are looking at them and then the movie just ends but it brings up another question are birds all over the country and the world going to do this? is this the first instance of this happening? but this is Alfred Hitchcock's monster movie what you would say now I give this a three and a half out of five burgers it is a little slow to bring in the birds and trying to establish the characters and stuff but everything they're talking about is kind of mundane and stuff but once we get to the bird scenes they are great now the movie is exactly two hours I feel like it could have been at least an hour and a half but Alfred Hitchcock is known as the master of suspense and horror and he definitely lives up to his name and we actually share the birthday August 13th so this is it for our viewer videos this month of September I will be doing new movies that are coming to streaming or that are already streaming or some possibly in theaters since COVID has affected movie theaters some have opened starting August 20th but New York State has not opened the theaters so I will be trying to watch Netflix originals as well and things like that stuff that's been coming out this year so I'm Scott Berger and I'll see you next time